uh, some fun now as we switch gears and uh, switch over to talk to Mr. Clay Aiken, who's on his way to Toledo here very soon uh, for the concert at the zoo. How you doing, Clay? I'm okay. How are you? Oh, very good. Looking forward to the show, part of this Verizon Wireless Toledo Zoo Concert Series on August 16th. I don't know if you ever played a, a actual working zoo before, but within the confines there, but... <laughs> I never have. It is. I never have. At least some. At least some of the audience will be in cages, so they can't walk away. That's good. Well, yeah, and, and we we think they'll be fed that day, so it should be all right for you. Um, actually, it's a great place. Uh, they just named Toledo one of the top ten zoos in the country. So. Uh, oh wow! Great. We're very proud, and it is a really. I mean, they say a cool room. This is a really cool place to play. So it should be a good time. It's called the Jukebox Summer Tour 2005. It uh, says here playing songs uh, from all five decades of the rock and roll era. Uh, that should be fun for not just you, but the audience, too. Yeah, we're hoping to have, we're hoping to have a really good time with it. We're in the middle of rehearsals now. It's proving to be quite a, uh, quite a tough show to put together because there's so many different styles of music. Obviously, you start back in the 50s, and you've got people like Sam Cooke, and you've got the, you know, even some of the um, Andrews Sisters stuff, some of the background uh, vocalists are going to sing some of the Andrews Sisters stuff, and then you go up into the 70s, you got that funk area, funk area, you have the Motown stuff, you got some of those 80s hair bands, there's so many different styles that it, it, it's, um, it's a daunting task, but we're having so much fun with it, it was amazing to you know, be able to sit down and try to put all these different songs together, and as we continue to go through this list and try to pare it down to just a few songs from each decade, it was hard to get rid of some because, you know, it's amazing how much great music came out of the 50s and the 60s and the 70s. and the, Well, every time, you know. Sure. It says here that everything from Sam Cooke to the Goo Goo Dolls, so I'm, I'm in. That sounds great. Yeah, it's, and I, it's, it's pretty eclectic. And I'm totally. guessing at least one song from Simon and Garfunkel. I'm, I'm guessing. Um, I think we'll probably pull that off. Okay. It also <laughs> says here you're going to preview songs from the next album. What's the scoop on that? Well, um, we're going to do our best to do that. Yes, we are. We're in the studio right now. We've been in the studio for just a very short amount of time, actually just the past week, um, working on uh, uh, new stuff for the album. So uh, we um, are hoping to have some of that stuff ready for, the, uh, for, for this particular tour. That's, that's the goal, um, to at least you know, preview some things that might make the album. Obviously, you know, in, the, in the process of making an album, we'll probably cut a lot more songs than, than we'll end up uh, being on the, uh, on the album itself. So... Some of the stuff that we end up doing this summer may end up falling out towards the end of the towards the end of the making process. But um, we're definitely going to do some of the things that we really love right now, and and uh, and things that um that we've been excited about uh, for now, putting on the next album. We've got a amazing new executive producer, um, James Foster Levy, who you might some people might remember. She was um <laughs> ironically, I feel like uh, kind of a fool doing <laughs> doing this, but she actually um, there was a show on the WB years ago called Pop Stars, uh, where they created a Kind of American Idol before American Idol, and yeah. they made a they made a, a pop band called Eden's Crush, and she was she was the main judge on that show. So I'm kind of getting somebody else's Simon Cowell to do my <laughs> yeah, there you go do my album. But she's amazing. She's so great at what she does, and we've really had a great time putting this. I'm starting to work on putting this together. Well, we'll look forward to that too. And also, and this is kind of neat with the uh, tour this summer, uh, an interactive element with the show. Uh, and not that anybody would, but don't forget your cell phone when you come to the Clay Aiken Show because you can actually send text messages uh, to him before the show, and uh, there's a whole there's a, a host of things going on with that. Yeah, we've got a, um, a, a neat group called Boomerang, which is um, I believe it's their first time actually uh, doing something uh, like this uh, at a live concert. They're gonna we're gonna be able to um, like a, like like you just said, send text messages backstage. We'll be able to get them at a few shows. We're actually gonna have some screens. Uh, where people will actually be able to text message and, and put them up on, on a screen inside so people can talk to each other and post text messages on the screens while the show's going on or during intermission or before and after. Well, that sounds scary. Uh, yeah, it could be, yeah. I'm sure they'll be edited. I'm sure they'll be, I'm sure they'll be censored. <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, I also see you're going to be on ABC's Good Morning America here in a couple of weeks. Uh, that's got to be great. Not only you know the big show at Bryant Park, the thousands of fans, but... You actually get to get close with Diane Sawyer, which is definitely a plus in my book. Right, right. Exactly. We've got to um, we got to do it last year. It was so much fun. Uh, or or wait, did we do it last? You know what? I don't know if we did it last year or the year before. Well, they do it every year. Well, we year. did. I don't know. I did it one of those years. I'm not sure which one. It was. <laughs> <laughs> it's been, it's, I can't believe I've been doing this long. This long. Um, like I've been doing it forever. What am I talking about? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's been. This will be the third summer, and I think I did it two summers ago. 
Okay, well, the 29th is the date uh, for this year, so we'll be watching then, too. We're all excited about it. Uh, can't wait for the show again, August 16th at the Zoo. Thanks so much for your time, Clay. Thank you very much. All right, have a good one.